Shopify DOM theme customization. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can customize your DOM theme on Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, the process is actually very simple. When you come over here onto your Shopify store and you logged in and you signed up, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto the left hand side and over here at the bottom, you're going to see you have online store. What you want to do is you want to click on it. So currently, if I open up my online store, we can see that there's not a whole lot going on. It's a very simple theme. This is the Dawn theme right here. Very simple, nothing too creative, you know, very simple. So let's go ahead and edit it out. Let's make it a little bit more bougie. So we're going to go ahead and click on customize over here. It's going to open up this tab right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit it. So this is the editor right here. If you want to change the theme, you can change that as well. So let me go ahead and go back. If you click over here, you can go ahead and customize it. And if you come down or over here, you can find some more different type of theme. So you have the refresh theme, the spotlight, dawn, craft, sense, origin, studio, and wide. So you have a bunch of different themes. If you want more themes, then of course you can go ahead and get some more themes as well, but they're going to be you know, paid as well. So you can see over here, 150 plus professionally designed themes. So there are a bunch of themes that you can go ahead and use. But for now, we are going to go with the Dawn theme, which is the default theme. And we're going to go ahead and customize and show you how you can customize it. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a background to our image. So over here in the background, what you can do is just simply click on this image banner right here. And here you can go ahead and change the image by clicking on this button right here. If you click on select image, you can go ahead and select the images that you have already uploaded into your store. Or if you want, you can go ahead and click on the free images and you can select some of the free images. If you're wondering if you wanted to, you know, go ahead and add like a video to the background, well, you can do that as well. And to do that, what you can do is you click on add section and you will find the option right here. If for some reason you don't find a video option, what you can do is you can add it via code, but that's a topic for another video. So what we'll do is we'll add this video section right here. And here we have the section, but this is a video section, but this is not a background video section. So for that, we do need to go ahead and add it via code. So, but we can do that. So to do that, we'll just simply go ahead and click on the edit code button right here. And over here in the code editor, we're going to search for sections. Uh, if you don't, you can find it right here. Uh, you can see sections right here. We're going to go ahead and add a new section and we're going to select liquid and we're going to call it background banner or video banner like this one and click on done. And we should be good to go. Next, we'll add this piece of code right here. It's a pretty long code. So we're going to copy all of that. We're going to scroll all the way to the down and all the way to the bottom and just simply copy the code. It's going to take some time, but yeah, you will find the link to this code in the description below as well. So don't worry about that. So now that we're at the bottom, we're just simply going to copy it like so. Go back to the editor, remove this piece of code and paste the code that we have. And there we have it. And then we'll just simply click on save it so that we have this section right here. And now, as you can see, this is the video banner that we already have, but it's from YouTube and it's a little bit different. And if we click on add section, once you have added the code and saved it, you will find a video background option right here. So when we click on it and add it into our background, we can see this is how it looks like. And over here, we have some different options as well. So here we have the options as well. So here we have the video image. Now let's go ahead and add some video to it. So you can go ahead and add your own piece of content over here via the custom link as well. But for now, I think this looks good. So we'll just leave it at that and we'll just delete it. I just wanted to show you how you can quickly go ahead and add your own custom snippets to a theme as well. So now we're going to go ahead and change the background. First, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the image banner and here we're going to go ahead and select the image. But for now, we're going to go ahead and upload a free image via the store. So we're going to click on women's fashion or men's fashion, whatever you want to call it, or any other image you want. Let's say work from home, we want to upload some tech type of images. So we can go ahead and do that as well. We have different images like local shops. We can choose some of these images if you want to. It depends on you. So they have a bunch of cool stuff as well. So let's go with tech and maybe find something that we like in the tech industry. So something like this or this also looks pretty cool. 
think this looks pretty cool as well. So we're going to click over here and then select button right here. Click on the select button. And this is going to be our background image. And if you want to set the video option, let's go ahead and click on the video title right here. And here you have the options to change the video here. You can add link as well. If you have your own video, you can just simply click on select video and upload your own custom video right here. So I have a video right here. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and upload it. Give it a couple of seconds to upload. But unfortunately, I cannot upload this because it is not supported on the free trial. So which is a bummer. But you know what? We can just simply paste the link of that video right here so that it would play. So this is the video right here. This is the video that will play it. And over here, you can add a different style as well. So make section a full width so that there's end to end. There is no you know section padding or anything like that. We can do that. We have custom CSS code over here, and then we have theme setting as well. Reveal section on scroll. I don't know what that is. Let's see. I don't know what that is, but I think we should do that. I think what this means is that the section will only be revealed when we scroll. So let me go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and view it and we'll open up our store in another tab. So here we have the preview. Here is the link of the video, but it's not autoplay. And plus, you know, the video player is... 1080p that is why you should go ahead and use the code editor to add your own section as well so which i think is pretty cool but yeah once you've done that let's assume that you've added the video we'll delete it for now so let's go ahead and save it and this is how it looks like next what you can do is you can add a new section right here on the left from the left hand side you can see you have a bunch of different options so you click on section you have a slideshow a collage multi column you can use multi column for your reviews all right so let's say you want to add some different reviews into your website so you can use multi column as well so we'll click over here and it'll automatically be you know added over here at the bottom here you go here you have some feature products you have a you know, background image, you have your feature products and then down below you have your reviews. Over here, you can add different reviews via different applications that you can find in the Shopify app store and you can label them over here. So over here in the multi-column, you can see over here on the right hand side, you have your other options. So instead of multi-columns, we'll just say testimonies or testimonials or reviews, whatever you want to call it. And then over here, we can select the height, width, and the image adaptation over here and different options as well. Next, what you can do is you can set up columns. So in each column, you can add new columns right here. So as you can see, I added in one column and leave that. And next, what you can do is add a completely new section. And at the bottom, let's say we want to have a custom liquid. You can add that over here. If you want to add a custom page, you can do that as well. So you have a pretty decent amount of customization options when it comes to dawn theme although i would just say that you know leave it stock you don't need to do a bunch of customization you know if you want to do it you're welcome to you should go ahead and add some cool stuff like i added this one right here like this shiny button stuff you can find a video on it on the channel how you can add a shine and effect onto your shopify buttons and also if we click on the on a product we can also see i have also added a around effect on the image banners right here you can also find a video on it i have created a video on it on the channel but for all of them you have to have some piece of codes so editing a dawn theme is pretty fun pretty simple nothing too crazy everything is laid out perfectly for you and once you have finished editing your theme all you have to do is click on finish and your are good to go and your theme will be published and that is how you do it that is how you customize your shopify down theme so Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.